Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is gonna be our newest video. We're bringing back a project that we sort of abandoned. Um, you guys have seen probably a lot of the, the intro videos of the 1974 formula in the background here, and it was a car we were gonna do kind of a budget build on, uh, kind of showcase a lot of our stuff, um, kind of do the every everyday build, and we sold it. And the cool thing is the customer was totally on board for doing a lot of the same stuff that we did, we were gonna do. Um, and we're gonna do everything in stages. So we've got the car. As you can see, it is a, you know, a fairly nice car. Um, so really what we're gonna do, stage one, is we're going to uh, do something about the right height. We're going to change the springs out in the car, put some upper control arms on it. We've got some different tires and wheels. And then we've got something that's going to be really fun. So the car is a 350 Pontiac motor. It is a real formula. It has a two barrel on it. And this thing is painfully slow. So anyways, we're going to... Maybe we'll just... We'll save that for the next video. It'll be kind of a surprise. But uh, anyways, today what we're going to do, it's going to be fun. So the whole object of this car is uh, we're going to kind of maybe come up with a name for it. Formula for fun. I think that's what it is. Formula for fun. Kind of a play on words. But we want to have fun with this car. The customer is totally cool. He's built cars before and spent crazy money on them. And he's like, hey, I don't want to spend crazy money. I want a car that will do burnouts and is fun to drive and looks cool and not spend a bazillion dollars on it. And, and this car really fits the bill. And uh, we're gonna try to do everything, we, we were saying kind of like what we would have done like in high school, you know, on a, a pretty tight budget. So with that being said, uh, today's gonna, we're gonna get dirty. Um, there's gonna be some choice words said and uh, we'll film some stuff along the way and uh, kind of show you what we're gonna do to it. and some tips and tricks and, and whatnot about some of our products and uh, let's have a little bit of fun. It's gonna be a great day. Gonna... All right, we got all the coil springs, spindles, upper control arms off the car. Um, <laughs> there's a comparison between our 2G springs and the factory springs. You can tell they're about six inches shorter. Wire diameter is bigger. That's really where you get the spring rate from, and also the the coils are a little closer together. Um, and on our big block and Pontiac applications, we have a spacer that goes on the top of the spring. Really, the spring rate's high enough for the heavier engines. It's just you, the loss of ride height. So we have a spacer. It also gives us some adjustability uh, in the ride height. Um, Also have a set of our adjustable upper control arms ready to go on there. Really, that's the key to the, the suspension kit, the upper control arms. That's where you're going to get most of your benefits uh, from a change in geometry. Put more caster in it. And all your adjustments are done here. Um, as you turn these, it lengthens and shortens the length, moving the ball joint in, out. And you get your caster and your camber changes. That way you don't have to use any shims up here. We just bolt these solid to the, the mount. Um, ours that we have are our own part numbers or our own built to our own specs. Have greasable Delrin bushings in them. And these things are awesome. And price point is great as well. So we'll get back with you on more updates in just a second. All right, so we got the front done, and the front was a piece of cake. Coil springs went in really easy. We did them on the floor, um, just popped them in with a pry bar. Piece of cake, man, it's great. Uh, got to the back, and everything was relatively all right in the back. Got the leaf springs in. Uh, usually the shackle bolts are what can be a big pain. Um, see if we can find those. Did you throw all the clips away? Yeah. Uh, anyways, the clips that go in the leaf spring up in here, uh, these things like to break off. And that's when the, uh, the proper tool for that is 
one of these and uh, you just cut it off, cut the head of the bolt off. It, it, it's not worth fighting it or doing anything stupid. It really isn't that big of a pain in the ass, but um, so anyways, we got the, all the suspension steering, did a brake job on the front, um, upper control arms in. So we're gonna put the tires and wheels on it, get it on the ground, um, and then it's uh, time for an alignment and a few other little things and uh, should be good. All right, so long day. Um, change out the springs. Um, basically do a, do a full suspension job on it. Um, we did ball joints, steering components, springs, uh, front and rear springs. Um, and we did a front brake job, stock brakes, um, repack the hubs, and upper control arms, got the tires and wheels on, and the car is on the ground. Hell yeah, man. Formula for fun. Anyways, so here she is. Looking good, looking good. Um, the car will actually settle. It'll actually end up being a bit, a bit lower. Um, so, uh, we're gonna drive it a little bit and then we'll do an alignment on it once the springs settle. Because once we got the springs, uh, there's no point in doing the alignment uh, until the springs settle because it'll it, it's probably gonna drop um, three quarters of an inch or so. So, anyways, we'll do that. We'll keep you guys updated. We'll maybe get some pictures of the car outside the shop and um, got more to come on this thing. So, um, like I said, we have the surprise coming uh, the next video. <laughs> It's gonna be for fun. We're gonna have a good time with it. That's the whole purpose of this build is is to have fun. The owner wants to have fun. Um, we want to have fun. The guys in the shop want to have some fun. Um, and it's a cool car. It's not an expensive, high dollar car, but it's a nice enough car. It's worthy of of doing some cool stuff. And 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 really, this is the car that that you know a lot of you guys at home are are building. So you know, this is a lot of the stuff that we sell, we make. Um, for these cars and we work on these cars and not everything has to be a SEMA build or you know a really high-end car you know this is a driver car this is a this is a hobby car this is you know this is go out and have fun with it kind of car so you know we're gonna do it in steps and stages and, and a little bit at a time here and there and you know when we're done it, it's gonna be just a fun a fun car without without breaking the bank and taking five years to build so Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll have more for you soon. Thanks, man.